In this video, we'll cover all basics of configuring the DX range selector widget. It allows end users to select a range of values on a numeric, string, or date time scale. In this demo, we'll show how to zoom a chart series according to the range that is currently selected in the range selector widget. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, Chart.js, Globalize, and jQuery. I've also referenced the JavaScript file where I'll set configuration options for the DX range selector widget. Like any widget from the Chart.js library, the range selector widget can be added using the jQuery, Angular, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the jQuery approach and adding the range selector widget using the DX range selector plugin. Let's set start and end values for the range selector scale. Now we can see what the range selector looks like and how it behaves with the default settings. Next, we'll provide the capability to select a range in a chart. To do this, we'll place a chart in the range selector's background. First, specify a data source for the chart and set the data source fields that will be used as a source for arguments and values of the chart series. The range selector scale displays the chart's argument axis, so we can remove the start and end values specified earlier. The scale will be created automatically based on data specified for the chart's argument axis. Let's take a look at the result, and you can see that we can now select a range in the chart. Finally, let's integrate our DX range selector widget with a standalone DX chart widget. I'll quickly configure a chart. and integrate the chart with the range selector. When the selected range changes, access the chart and change the minimum and maximum values of the argument axis. In addition, Set the Call Selected Range Changed option to On Moving to call the selected range changed function that we introduced while moving the sliders, not when their movement was complete. I'll use the Range Selector's Indent option to precisely align the scale relative to the chart scale. And as you can see, we can now zoom the chart using the DX Range Selector widget. And that's it. To learn more about the DX Range Selector elements and how to customize them, please refer to the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.